PQ, Q is going minus 2, all over 5, P5, Q is going minus 6. Let's say this one is square root of the other thing. So it just appears complex, but it's the same approach. You can see that this are numbers in index form. So this is square root of everything when you are done. Before you apply square root, the first thing you have to ask yourself is that you have, the first thing you have to do is to deal with numbers inside that square root. So this is 245. This is 5. Ask yourself this question. Can you express this 245 as an index form? Because I have told you in, in, in the beginning of this lecture that it is not every number that can be expressed as an index form. That was the first thing I said. So obviously there will not be a number that we will use to give an expression of index form for these two for five. So what we do is that the first thing divide five year one, five times four twenty, five times nine forty five. For twenty remainder four, five times nine forty five. That's what we do. So the rest of it, let's deal with it. Then this one gives forty nine p is power two, q is power minus two. All over p is to power 5, q is to power minus 6. So we move on from there. So of course, this one is an index form. Let's express everything in index form. The others are in index form. But let's express 49 in index form. 7 squared, 7 times 7 is 49. p, q, then q is to power minus 2. Then we have p, 5, then q is to power minus 6. Everything square root. So what we try to do now is that we have to use square root on each of the numbers. I repeat, but before using square root on, on each of the numbers, we are not done with the number inside. This is p to the power 3, p to the power 5, q to the power minus 2, q to the power minus 6. So what we do is that we try to compute this. This is like 7 to the power 2 times p to the power 3 Divide by p is to power 5, pp, division. Then times, times, okay, let me, let me just do it the way you understand it. Times q is to power minus 2. Then everything divided by this numerator divided by the denominator. That is p is to power 5 times. Q is to power what? Minus 6. So in that case, P will be divided by P times Q will be divided by Q. You understand what I'm saying? So in that case, this is going to be, I'm still leaving this square root out, 7 squared times P to the power 3 division will be used to multiply this out. Divided by P to the power 5. Then times q to the power minus 2, this is the unit of this sign, divided by this one, you multiply the cancel this out, that's division. Division is like negative. So when you use negative or positive, it's going to be negative. Okay, that's division. That's q to the power minus 6. Don't get it twisted. What we have just done is that we consider the numerator, I can do it directly here, but since we are dealing with indices, I'm trying to use as many rules of indices we have blended as possible. So this denominator, everything is divided. This division, then this one adds the denominator here. So this is 7 times p to the power 3, then I need my p here. The division here, we open this graph here. That's why this is division here. Your multiplication starts. Then times this minus q to the power minus 2 is the of this multiplication, so it takes it. Then divided by q, this division cancels this multiplication. q to the power minus 6. In that case, we have this is 7 to the power 2. 7 to the power 2. Let me just leave this one now. Then p to the power what? 3 minus 2. That is minus 3 minus 3 minus 5. Sorry. 3 minus 5. That's minus 2. Then times this q. I'm using the rule of division here. I use the rule of division here. Okay. This is minus 2. Minus minus 6. This division turns to minus according to the rule of division. So minus 2 minus minus 6. This is minus 2. 
minus minus 6. I don't want to assume that you understand what I'm saying. I want to do it for you. Then it's P raised to power minus 2 times Q raised to the power minus 2. This is going to be plus. Minus times minus is plus. Minus 2 plus 6. That is 4. So in that case, we are left with 7 raised to the power 2 times P raised to the power minus 2 times Q raised to the power 4. Then we are looking for the square root of each. So the square root implies that this 7 this power was 1 over 2 times p is power minus 2 1 over 2 times q is power 4 1 over 2 so when you simplify that you have 7 times p that's p is power minus 1 times q is power minus 2 then that's you can write it in the words but you can also leave the answer like this because you are doing it in this way so finally the solution is 7 to the power minus 1 to the power 2. And that will be the final answer. I'm not going to take it to the fraction because we are dealing with indices. So I think this should suffice for the example. But then we still have some other concepts we have to consider before we call it a day.